What's going on guys? It is Ricky, Weston, Weston and Caleb with Tech with Scott. So welcome to the new channel. Uh, in this video, all we're going to do is to kind of introduce the channel and before we kind of go into detail through the next series of videos about these cars, we want to show you kind of like what to expect. So I'm going to go through my cars first and then we're going to have uh, Weston and Caleb uh, talk about their cars. So let's go ahead and start off over here. Actually, I'm really glad that we're filming this today because this car, fingers crossed, is gonna be sold as soon as tomorrow. So I've had this one for two years. It's a VF Supercharger BMW M3. Uh, when it's tuned and everything, it has about 650 horsepower right now, probably has about 500 if that. Uh, but yeah, this is a 2008 E92 M3. Um, this is a 2015 TTR. I bought this one off of my good friend Mohammed, uh, who ended up going back to the United Emirates. Um, so this is my Baby, it's gonna be the one that like, well obviously that I drive the most and the one that I like the most. This is my 2018 um, McLaren 720S. I picked this one up December 18th. If you guys didn't check out that video on my main channel, feel free to check it out. I ended up trading my McLaren 570S for this one. Uh, and then this is actually the only car that I personally have a loan on. Um, and I have a loan for about 100,000. I ended up putting $200,000 down. I'm trying to build my credit um, and trying for tax purposes to have a little bit more expenses but altogether this is probably one of the only cars that I bought without the true intention to resell for a profit this one I got it for a smoking deal um, the BMW M3 I've had it for over two years we've driven it all over the place um, and I'm probably gonna take about a $1,000 loss so just think about that it's not always about just trying to make a profit off of it but also after enjoying it for a series of number of months or years uh, to get as close to as you know what you paid for so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back here. Uh, I'm gonna have Weston talk about his truck first, and then we can go to my other car. What's going on, guys? Um, I'm just gonna talk about my 2003 Silverado SS. Um, it's in really, really good shape. If you guys know anything about these trucks, uh, it was basically their hot rod truck for the year 2003 to 2006. It's the all-wheel drive version. I believe the 06 was two-wheel drive. Has the 6.0 in it, 4065E transmission. Very, very nice. The paint's in extremely good shape. I have documents since 03. I think that's a huge selling point for this truck. It's probably in this condition with no rust right here and no rust on the rocker panels, which is very common for these. Worth 10.5 or maybe even more, but um, paid 9,000 for it. Pretty cool. Um, it's that victory red, I believe is what they call it. And um, you know, that's really just one that I like to talk about. Yeah, that, that definitely is probably one of, I think because of the color. It's, it's such a beautiful truck. Stand and up. I'm not a huge truck guy, but I can definitely appreciate this one, especially at a good deal. So this one's uh, Harley's Ford F-150. I believe it has an issue, so there, there's a little bit of a struggle uh, selling this one, but he did buy it with the intention to sell it for a profit. Um, it's just been kind of sitting around lately. He actually has two other cars. One of them is right here. It's his 2015 Camaro base model V6. And then he just bought a 2000 and what? 16 or 17 um, no, SRTA, so 392. Um, but yeah, amazing, kind of like uh, army, army green, green color. So that one's pretty nice. This is Justin's uh, BMW mm, 4. Uh, but yeah, he's done a lot of stuff to it with like the diffuser, exhaust tips. Not really full exhaust, but yeah. Uh, little, little. What is this? Um, duck bill trunk? Oh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he wrapped the top. This has to be one of my favorite parts. Obviously the Miami blue, right? And then the carbon uh, front hood. I think it looks pretty aggressive uh, with this front splitter as well. Um, and then he's just, you know, super aggressive. He's into all that stuff. So, um, And then this is the one that I bought with the intention again to sell for a profit. It's my 2016, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sorry, it's, it's super bad. But yeah, 2016. Uh, Porsche GT3 RS. I bought one of the lowest priced ones in the country. This one has about 2,500 miles. Clean title, two previous owners. Um, and in Arizona, you don't have to pay sales tax on private party sales. And I have the lowest price 2016 Porsche GT3 RS with the full carbon package. I believe the MSRP is about 210,000. Um, I have it posted for 190,000, and we'll see kind of what we get for it. I paid 180. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun with it. I bought it with like uh, 2,200 uh, miles, so I put about 300 miles on it, and I've been enjoying it. One of my favorite things about this car is uh, the side fender with the flares, um, and then I also really like uh, the uh, just huge wing that really covers and, and makes for a really bad blind spot on the rear view mirror. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to Caleb and his cars. 
starting with the Buick. All right, so this is a 2011 Buick LaCrosse. We actually got a really good deal on this one. I uh, bought it for $2,700. It uh, is worth around four to $5,000, so if everything goes right according to plan, we should almost double uh, the profit on this one. And then Jake, you want to talk about yours? Yeah. I guess I don't know why I'm filming this, but <laughs> we're showing you my BMW 335i with a Dock Race single turbo kit on it and a Liberty Walk kit on it. Um, it's fast, I love it. It's the job done, you know? <laughs> you have a couple more uh, at the Milky House, right? Uh, I did, but I sold them and I have a little two seat razor right now, like a little off road. To resell, right? To resell, yeah. yeah. I like it. So, uh, one of my favorite things about Jake's car is although it's at, like. It's my favorite. Part. <laughs> um, is how loud it is, right? And then also, I think it has to do with like experience purposes, how how stiff it is. Uh, you have a very small, uh, uh, what is it, shifter? Yep, it's a short shifter, so it's just, it's like a race car. That's the best way to explain it. Yeah, single turbo, inside, it's fast, 600, 600 horsepower. 600 to the wheels, yeah, something along those lines. I love how wide this is. And what is the Instagram for this? Thick mint. You know, you don't have to follow it, but if you want to drop one, go do it, guys. <laughs> Thick right, mint. Your turn. There you so, this is the uh, best car that I ever bought, and by best, I mean absolute worst. Uh, this is my Maserati 2014 Ghibli Q4S. Um, so, I thought I was getting an amazing deal, and at the time I was, there's been so many issues with this car, and the prices have continued to drop even though they've been out there. And one of the things that I learned and the mistake that I made, a lot of the leases ended for these Maserati so so many of them became available and very unfortunately uh, the prices dropped dramatically especially after I ended up selling. So we're gonna have Justin pull off. Good player. What's up? Head to meeting. Be back in like 45 minutes. All right go get that bread boy. Alright guys, so I know this one's not impressive at all to you guys probably or to many of you guys, but it is a 2003 Honda CRV with 110k miles. Paint's faded, I know it's faded. It doesn't look appealing, but the cool thing about these particular cars are they're known for their reliability. So having 110k, um, making sure that it is mechanically functioning well and it has that reputation, we think that we can sell this one for a profit, although it's not cool compared to the other cars of the house. It can make us a little bit of money. We Expect. Oh, that's so awesome. that, that, and, and you guys have to think about it. Just to put it into perspective, I bought this one for thirty thousand dollars, and I'm probably going to take a five, a minimum of probably a five thousand dollar loss on the Maserati, uh, in cor correlation to a Honda CRV, where they bought it for how much? Twenty eight hundred. And you guys plan to make how much off of it? About a thousand. So at the end of the day, again, it doesn't matter, right, what it is that you're driving. It just comes down to your intention. So you could be driving the nicest car out there, but if you're not in a position to potentially take a loss, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. And man, these guys are just absolutely killing it when it comes down to buying cars for a good deal, regardless of how good they look. All right, guys, so you guys saw our 12 cars. I do want to let you know that if you guys want to stay tuned and see the car that I'm buying that's getting delivered this Friday for our 13th car, so it's going to be Friday the 13th, if you guys want to stay tuned for it's going to be a supercar and I'm going to be adding to my little fleet of cars comment down below what you think it's going to be and what deal you think I got it but we're all about getting good deals and this car I did buy with the intention to sell for a profit so let me know in the comment section what you guys think I bought we would love to stay connected and I wanted to invite you that if you guys want to learn more about investing in cars we're always jumping on calls with people all over the United States when it comes down to finding the best car deals in your area so we'd love to work with you on a closer basis if you have extra time this summer dedicate two minutes click that first link just think about it click that first link down below schedule a call with us it's not gonna be a webinar it's not gonna be something that you have to purchase just click the first link schedule a call with us and we would love to talk to you about potentially maybe getting started investing in cars um, and see how we can work with you on a closer basis to find the best car deals in your area really do appreciate you guys time hope you guys like this video hope you guys can subscribe like always be sure to click that first link let's make sure that we end the year on a green note Take it easy, team, you know?